Have you ever just been going about your day walking on the pavement and you see one of those strange rainbow things on the road? No, I'm not talking about one of those. I'm talking about one of these. A rainbow puddle. These things aren't often talked about, but I've known more rainbow puddles in my life than I've known women. And I know about five women. Contrary to popular belief, these things aren't the result of LGBT people having a wee on the side of the road. They're actually just a normal puddle of water with a thin layer of oil on top. When it rains, you end up with water filling up any potholes or dips. Then, when cars drive over it, some of the cars, especially if they're stuck in traffic, might leak oil onto the water puddle, making this water-oil mixture. Since oil is lighter than water, the oil rises to the top, forming a thin sheet coating the water. So how is the puddle a rainbow if oil is yellow and water is clear? When the sun shines on this puddle of oil and water, some of the light reflects directly off the top layer of oil and some reflects off the bottom layer of oil where the oil meets the water. Now the light which reflects off the bottom layer of oil travels slightly further than the light which travels directly off the top layer of oil. This difference here is called the path difference. This slight path difference means that once the waves join together, they are no longer in sync which means that when they add together, they form a new wave of a different amplitude. The amplitude changes, but the wavelength remains the same. And as we know, the wavelength changes the color of the wave. So how can we get a rainbow of colors from changing the amplitude? Light from the sun has a whole range of different wavelengths, and all of these wavelengths hit the surface of the oil. For example, the typical wavelength of blue light is around 400 nanometers, and the typical wavelength of red light is just under 800 nanometers. But this thin layer of oil creates a path difference of, let's say, 400 nanometers. Creating a path difference of 400 nanometers on the blue light means that the wave is offset by exactly its wavelength. So when the waves recombine, they are now in sync with each other, so they add together to form a new, higher amplitude wave. This is called constructive interference. But when you offset the red light by 400 nanometers, you offset it by exactly half its wavelength. So when the waves recombine, the two waves are now directly opposing each other, so they add to zero. This is called destructive interference. So in this specific example, the puddle will actually appear blue. Even though neither the water nor the oil is blue, blue light is reflected at a higher amplitude than all the other colors. So why does the puddle then appear like a rainbow? Well, if I change the wavelength of light that hits the puddle, then I change the amplitude of the light that is reflected back. So specific colors or wavelengths are reflected in different ways. Some get brighter and some get darker. But when I change the thickness of the oil or the path difference, this changes which colors undergo constructive and destructive interference. The reason we see a rainbow is that the thickness of the oil isn't the same across the entire puddle. At some points it's thicker and at some points it's thinner. So part of the puddle appears blue, another part appears green, and another part appears red. This is why we see this rainbow. This is actually also the same reason that rainbows appear on the back of a CD or on the surface of soap bubbles. Click this video if you want to see more. Now piss off!